Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Dosage calculation in this session is about fluid dosage calculation. When we do uh, work with fluid dosage calculation, uh, there are several points we need to pay attention to. It's ordered dose, which is from doctor, and the concentration of available liquid and the drug, so which is liquid drug or free to drug to say is the order the dose based on body weight is to see if it is related body weight and and uh, at the beginning doing just a unit conversion we need a um, unit matching make a union matching okay let's have some example unit matching you can do review for tablet dosage calculation same thing with if you want to convert big unit to small unit you need to multiply if you convert small unit to big unit you do division okay first question let's look at the question four we continue with the tablet dosage calculation and the, Amoxicillin is available as 6 gram per 20 milliliter. A doctor ordered 0 0.012 kilogram of amoxicillin. How much will the nurse dispense? So let's look at the first 6 gram per 20 milliliter, which is, this is, is available for it drug. The concentration is 6 grams for each 20 milliliter. A doctor ordered 0 0.012 kilogram of amoxicillin. So the order is 0, the total is 0 0.012 kilogram. So we look for, for 20 milliliter, the medicine concentrate is 6 grams. But now we need 0 0.012 kilogram is how many how many milliliter, right? But these two units not matching, so we need convert kilogram to gram. So which from big unit to small unit we multiply thousand. So we move decimal one two three got the twelve grams. So we work with this part, so we can see 6 to 12, so multiply 2, so that's why x equals, you can say x equals 40 milliliter, right? Or you do cross multiplication, same, because the ratio is, because you need more medicine, you need more volume, right? The first part we got, we need 40 milliliters of medicine. And second part, we see, and this is, a, yeah, this is a, how much will the nurse dispense. Actually, this is a, got the answer. In total, we need 40 milliliters, right? So the next question is, a vet ordered 0 0.3 milligram per pound dose for a 100 kilogram calf. The drug is available as 3.0% calculate the volume of the drug in milliliters. This question lo looks and the medicine is related to body weight. The cough is 100 kilogram, but for each pound is 0 0.3 milligram. So that's why the weight is kilogram. This is the concentration is pound. So we need to convert 100 kilogram multiply 2.2 0 pound this is uh, for each kilogram right so we got the 220 pound because kilogram kilogram cancel out 2.20 times 100 is 220 pound that means the 100 kilogram calf actually the body weight is 220 pounds for each part body weight, we need 0 
milligrams of medicine. So also we can set the ratio or you just, uh, you know, just multiply, right? So if you want to set the ratio, you can set the 0 0.3 milligram medicine for each pound body weight. Now we have 220 body weight and how many milligram medicine we need, right? So this one we got x equals using x multiplied 1, this is 0 0.3 multiplied 220, which is 66 milligram. So total, the calf needs 66 milligrams of medicine. But the medicine is available as 3%. When we got the concentration, is 3.0% because the this situation, the drug is a fruit. So that's why 3% means 3 grams per 100 milliliter. The 3% means 3 grams per 100 milliliter. So now we need 66 milligrams. So how many milliliter of drug we needed. So from milligram to gram is not matching. So whatever you want to convert milligram to gram or you want to convert gram to milligram. So let's do from gram to milligram, you got the 3000 milligram, right? But this is still 100 milliliter. So you work with this part. So then you can see the x will be equals your cross multiplication and the 66 multiply 100 divided 3000. So we can calculate the answer, find it is 6600 divided by 3000. We got the 2.2, 2.2 milliliter. So that means this cough needs 2.2 milliliter of drug. The last question I want to show you is a medicine is available as 35 milliliter, milligram per milliliter and 1.5 milligram per kilogram is ordered for a 60 pounds child. How many milliliters of this medicine are needed? So this question also related to body weight because for 60 pounds child and each kilogram of body weight needs 1.5 milligrams of medicine. So that's why we need to first find how many milligrams of medicine the child needs. So this situation we can see 1.5 milligram per kilogram, one kilogram, right? Then now we, we can look at this one. This is the 60 pounds child We know how many milligram medicine. For each kilogram, we need 1.5 milligram. For 60 pounds, how many? But these two also is not matching. So also you can convert the kilogram to pound, which is multiply, one kilo multiply 2.2, become 2.2, zero pounds. This is 1.5 milligrams, which is convert the burden. Then work with these two part, right? Then we can say x multiply this one. So x equals 1.5 milligram multiply 60 because pound pound cancel out already and divided 2.2 so we can calculate 1.5 multiply 60 equal divided 
we got 40.9. So 40.9 milligram. For this child, weight is 60 pounds and 40.9 milligrams of medicine are needed. And this 40.9 milligrams of medicine is as liquid. So at each milliliter, there are 35 milligrams. So how many milliliter we need? So the second, we still need to set the uh, ratio. So we can write 35 milligram in one milliliter. So now we need a 40.9 milligram. So how many milliliter of medicine we needed? So this situation we can find x equals cross multiplication 40.9 Divide the milliliter, milligram, milligram, cancel out. So multiply this one, divide it 35, right? So this is a unit is milliliter, right? So we have 40.9 divided 35, we got 1.16. So we round off 1.2 milliliter. So this child, 60 pounds child and needs 1.2 milliliter of medicine. So this is presented by wise guys. Thank you.